Keith one time Furman defeats Danny Garcia by 12 round split decision in their world weight unification fight in Brooklyn I thought this was a good fight it was very entertaining from a technical point of view both guys showed why they were champions tonight both guys were very good technically in different departments Danny Garcia showed a lot more defensive skill tonight people underrate how defensive Danny Garcia can be in there but he showed great defence tonight in certain rounds and yeah, I enjoyed seeing that from him. But Keith Furman came out, he was landing big hooks in the opening rounds. Like, he said he was going to use his jab a lot in this fight, but for the first couple of rounds, the jab was MIA and we didn't see much of the jab. So he was just coming out and trying just to pull the trigger straight away on Danny Garcia, he even stunned him in the first round. I gave a lot of the first half of the fight to Keith Furman. And then in the second half of the fight, Danny Garcia started to come into it a bit more. Especially in the later rounds. Like, I gave Danny Garcia the last three rounds of the fight. I gave him 10, 11 and 12. I think Danny Garcia knew he was behind in the fight. So he came out more aggressively in the last three rounds. And he did enough to win them rounds, I think. Then we went to the judges' scorecards and the judges had it. 116, 112 to Keith Furman, 115, 113 to Danny Garcia, and 115 to 113 to Keith Furman. Danny Garcia didn't seem happy by this decision, he thought that he won the fight, but the way I saw it was, if he thought he was winning the fight, why was he trying in the last three rounds of the fight? I think he knew in the back of the head that, look, I could be behind in this fight. But at the end of the fight, he reacted as if to say he won the fight clearly. But yeah, I think Keith Furman did enough to win tonight. I don't know by a couple of rounds. My final score was 116 to 114 because one of the rounds I couldn't split them. So yeah, Keith Furman is now the WBA, WBC welterweight champion in the world. Who does he fight next? Does he fight the winner of Manny Pacquiao, Amir Khan? Does he fight the winner of Errol Spence and Kell Brook? But it's entertaining right now in the weight decision. There's a lot of young, up-and-coming talents, young champions looking to make a name for themselves in the division. So I look forward to it. JM speaks.